You will eat now, Schnitzel. This is cooking the laboratory called Hot Fron. Here we grab flavor and we spank it. You bring two ingredients, and then we make treats so tasty you cry like baby. First ingredient, now. Uh, take this shroom shake? Second ingredient, now. Take this fire burst? You thought I should cook with a shroom shake and the fire burst, yes. You wait, I cook, schnitzel. Da 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 Slice and simmer now we must make chow. Wait one second and I will make you some good food. Then now you can eat completion now. You will eat it, you little bratwurst. We got the emergency ration. You find ingredients, you bring them here. I make some soup. <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and uh, welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time, we end the time before, we completed the two pits of 100 trials. And this time, I'm going to be going back into the pit of, or the flop side pit of 100 trials, because apparently we need to complete that one twice in order to earn our reward. Now, before you click off of this video, uh, I would like to point out that if you look at the video length, it should be much shorter than the previous two pit run-throughs. And that is because, in fact, I'm probably going to be titling the episode this, uh, it, it will be kind of abridged. I'm going to be cutting it cutting it down, shorting, shortening it, so if you didn't watch the other two pits, then you can watch this one, and it will be a lot less painful to sit through, because it should be near the length of a normal episode. Uh, let's see, where did I come in? Uh, I came in over- yeah, I, I did come in over here. Right? Here? No, I came in from here. So, yeah, uh, now also, that whole emergency ration thing is, uh, part of what I said I would do last time. In between episodes, I made these. There are a lot of emergency rations here, and I actually need to pick up an extra one, because I made another inventory slot, so, pick up. Now, the special thing about these emergency rations is it says here that they fill 10 HP and they cure poison. That's kind of true, but in the pits, they actually cure 50 HP and cure poison. So, situationally, this is the best inventory I've ever had. Also, you'll notice that I only have one life shroom now, and that is because uh, I've, I kind, I, I thought, my thought process was, these heal 5 HP. And they're only good when I'm low at uh, low HP. So why do I have three of them in my inventory when I should just have one so I'm not taken by surprise by damage? And then I can have uh, effectively a hundred more HP in my inventory. So I have a I have a pretty good inventory and I'm happy with it. Also, you notice my coin count is very low compared to last time. That is because I sunk most of my gold into buying uh, gold bars and storing them away so that in the case I get a game over, I won't actually lose everything. Um, and also, I bought the good Merlee charm. So, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. And now I have to remember which pipe I go down. Is it... Where... What, do I just go down? I don't remember <laughs> how to get to the pit. Here it is, found it again. So, like I said, I'm just going to be cutting around in this pit, showing parts that are funny, or uh, things that I need to talk about, or just random things that I don't need to talk about, but I'm talking about them anyway. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let the cutting commence! Hopefully this is a little bit more enjoyable than the other two pit episodes. You think that you'll break me you're gonna find in time you are standing too close to the flame that's burning hotter than the sun in the middle of july bringing out your army well you still can't win listen up silly boy cause i'm gonna tell you why i burn can't hold me now you got nothing that can stop me swing all you want like a fever, I'll take you down. Let's go after our dreams. Which we lost one day, we need them back, it seems. Go and gather all the stars. Which will open up a gate up in the sky. Which will lead us to a brand new stage. 
Where we'll go and challenge the gods. Fight intense, be dynamic, let's go, go. Don't panic, losing makes us stronger than before. There will be no limits, no regret. We'll keep fighting, we'll keep pushing onward. Fly up high, be dynamic, let's go, go. Punch and kick, go, we're trembling with adrenaline. Brand new stories are about to begin. Got it, nice. Alright, room 26 is done. So I'm cutting back uh, here because, not really to show progress, although I am doing pretty well. Uh, I'm, I'm low on health, but I haven't used a, a ration yet. There we go. But I'm mainly just cutting back to talk about something that I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, and with the election season rolling around, I've been... I was wondering, you know, what some of my favorite channels, who they're voting for. And I was wondering if maybe some of you guys are thinking the same thing, except possibly about me. And I know it's a huge taboo, ooh, that's nice, a huge taboo at this point to to talk about politics in a Let's Play video for whatever reason, uh, probably just because it can alienate, alienate viewers, but I'm, I'm all for breaking taboos. I mean, I'm already breaking the one that says that you have to, you have to uh, swear and use profanity on a channel, which seems to be almost required at this point, which is kind of sad. So I'm breaking that taboo, so why not break this one? Now... Actually, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So I'm just going to be upfront with who I'm voting for, and I'm probably going to be voting for Donald Trump, which sounds... You're probably cringing and be like, why? And some other people are like, hey, look, it's someone who... who agrees with me. I don't know. There will be different reactions. But there are a couple reasons why I'm doing it, and I, while I don't profess to be the most politically-minded person on the wor in the, uh, the face of the world... That was close. Uh, got it. I, I do I do know bad things when I see it, and in my opinion, you can disagree with me if you want, Hillary just doesn't, there's so many bad things I feel surrounding Hillary that I just don't really feel like I should vote for her. And I'm not just talking about the emails, I'm talking about some innocent things too, like, uh, like her health. Her health doesn't seem to be in the best condition, um, and not just the, is it pneumonia that she has right now? I don't actually know, and this also gives me you a kind of an indication on when I'm recording this. But she just doesn't seem to be that well um, of health. That was weir a weirdly structured sentence. But Donald Trump does seem to be pretty healthy. Another thing is that one of the, the biggest things people have against Donald Trump is that he's been in debt a couple, or he's declared bankruptcy a couple times. And I, I think that's actually a pretty big boon because if he's been in bankruptcy a couple times, that means he knows how to get out of it. Even though he, I'll, I'll be the first to say that he is kind of a loudmouth. He he doesn't. He's not scared of offending anyone. Um, still, that's that's kind of how presidents used to be way back in the day. So it may not be the, and by back in the day, I mean like the turn of the of the century. So early 1900s, we weren't really concerned with offending anyone. The Monroe Doctrine was a thing, and we were just like, bro, don't mess with us, we won't mess with you, and we don't care what you think about it. So, I, I don't know. That's Those are just kind of my thoughts. Now, I encourage you to discuss... Uh, I'm actually kind of lifting the taboo ban here. Discuss politics in, in, the, uh, in the comments if you get this far in the video. And I, I will be completely fine if you do, but just remember that other people have other opinions and that you should respect them. Now, it's fine to say, it's fine to debate in the comments, but do not be rude about it. If you're rude about it, I will remove your comment, which kind of goes to show I'm going to be making the comments a safe place to discuss politics. Even if it's just like, hey, did you see that, like, I don't know, Donald Trump has blonde hair? Like, you can talk very innocent politics too. It's not really politics, it's just talking about a politician, but whatever. So yeah, I just figured I would kind of talk about politics a little bit, because there is a taboo with it, and I know that, at least for me, I'm curious about how some of my favorite channels are going to vote. So I decided to clear the air here. So yeah, cool, awesome. Did I, did I offend everyone? Probably, somehow, because this is America and everyone gets offended. But you guys are, you guys are great, you, you probably weren't offended, and if you were, 
then you you took it graciously. Also, another level up? Really? Oh, okay. I'm happy with that. We've gotten two level ups already. When's our when's our next one? Uh plus yeah. Uh in uh let's see, what is that? 110,000? Okay, we can we can make that. Alright, so I, I think that's it for now, so we'll probably cut back to me singing or whatever, because I was enjoying that. Oh hey, it's this enemy. Okay, now we're now we're cutting. They see you as small and helpless. They see you as just a child. Surprised when they find out that a warrior will soon run wild. Prepare for your greatest moments. Prepare for your finest hour. The dream that you've always dreamed is suddenly about to flower. We are lightning, straying from the thunder, miracles of ancient wonder. This will be the day we've waited for. This will be the day we open up the door. I don't want to hear absolution. Hope you're ready for a revolution. Welcome to a world of new solutions. Welcome to a world of bloody evolution. In time, your heart will open minds. A story will be told. Victory is in a simple soul. Your world needs a great defender. Your world's in the way of harm. You want a romantic life, a fairy tale that's full of charm. Beware that the light is fading. Beware that the dark returns. This world's unforgiving. Even brilliant lights will cease to burn. Legends scatter. Day and night will sever. Hope and peace are lost forever. Okay, he's dead. You dropped the key too. Uh, let's let's get rid of this annoying bleeping. Get this. Uh, we're close to the next level up, so I I think I can try to shoot for that. Yeah. It actually feels the pit feels a lot easier, and it's not for the reason of oh, to her I have a great inventory. It's just feels simpler. Ooh, hey. Uh, let's let's not eat that. I don't need to eat that. Also, I find it funny that the chain chomps of all things drop the steak, because dogs love meat. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that descendants of wolves would love meat? Did I descend for? <laughs> I mean, I I don't really think I don't think evolution's a thing, but like, <laughs> I must be part wolf, guys. Although I wouldn't mind being able to shapeshift into a wolf. That'd be cool. I mean, you could run really fast. And because I, I hike and hunt and stuff, the berry bushes and stuff, they wouldn't bother me. Yo, I just run right through them. Hey, Merle, you're actually just in time to give me a, a trashy item. How'd I know? How did I know? And this is the good Merle charm, if you'll remember. Okay, toss this. Use this. Press the flashing button. Easy. 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 I messed up, but I still got max charge. As that steak is in my chest. Although, that's where it goes when you eat it, so... It's pretty accurate. Though I hadn't eaten it, so... It was in my chest. Why am I talking about this? I'll just go kill these clubbas. These Darth... Darth Clubba. <laughs> Which sounds like an actual thing... Actual brand that... George Lucas would come up with. And one more style. Nice! Very nice! That's the kind of styling I like to see! Especially when I had so much trouble with it the past couple episodes. That put me really close to the level. Uh... How do I get to that door? From below? Okay, well, I have a... I have an app for that. It's called Mario. Jump. Flip. Very nice! As we go through the door. There will be no limits, no regret. We'll keep fighting, we'll... Uh, level up! Hey! Cool, okay. Uh, my attack went up by one. And that's full HP again. I've only had to use one emergency ration. And I used it, haha, <laughs> when it was emergency. And I'm not using many because I'm rationing myself. Sorry. I, uh... I was trying to think of ways to be funny, and... So I, I thought of puns, but puns are the lowest form of humor. 
So we need to rationalize it. Oh, oh. Sorry, I just had to use those puns because it's a new form of humor that's emerging. Oh. And I still get hit. Uh, let's toss this. Use the Volt Shroom. Press the button that's showing. A. One. Two. A. Two. One. Two. One. A. One. A1 is great steak sauce. And it is... This video is sponsored by A1. Although, per usually when I have burgers, I'll actually put A1 on burgers every now and then. But normally I do a sour cream and Stubbs steak, si uh, steak sauce. And that always tastes good on a uh, cheeseburger. Especially if you have onions. Hello. Okay, he's dead. There's my key. Do I want to stay? Yeah, these guys give a lot. Jump on him. Oh, and I stunned it. Wait, what? I'm supposed to be stunning you, and you're supposed to be move not moving. Okay. Uh, is there another one? Besides the dark magic Koopa, is there another piggy bank guy? There are usually two. No, there is not, actually. There's just one of the, the centipede millipede worm things. What is the, the Zelda enemy called that that jumps or that uh, jumps around and it's like a millipede? I forget. Oh, that was perfect dodging. Good job, pal. Wow. I'm getting good at this whole Bowser thing. Uh, I actually want to kill them. Mainly because I like dealing damage, an obscene amount of damage to Kamex. And also because I am close to another level up already. Okay. Uh, that's nice, I guess. Also, if things keep going this easily, then I'm going to have an excess of emergency rations, which is actually a very bad thing. Because then they're worthless outside of this area. And then I'll have to sell them. Although, to be fair, I do have... I do have about 600 coins, so I shouldn't really complain. Is there a pipe up? No, the door's right here. Nice. That's a better process. Took us a lot less time. And I got a, a catch card, which... I will gladly throw away my fire burst for that. Because fire burst works one time. Catch card works forever. It's like love. There's Isn't there a saying that it's like something lasts for a short time, but this lasts forever? Love lasts forever? I, I don't know. I don't know sayings, really. I just make up my own. Which usually don't mean anything. And there's our level up! Attack went up by one. Which is nice, because Bowser's fire, baby. Bowser's fire, baby carry, baby puppy, monkey, baby, Merle. That's a terrible... Hopefully they don't bring that back with this Super Bowl. The puppy monkey baby thing. That was terrible. Because everyone was talking about it, and it was awful. Can we burn you, please? Just, yeah, thank you. I don't want that shell. Hey, buddy! Apparently, he had some spicy food, or he didn't want to be our buddy. Because that's fire. That's black fire. Ow! Which is way worse than regular fire. It's like glowing red things are much worse than glowing green things. Wow, you actually have 980 coins. That's... Oh, we're on the last thing! Oh! And this is our inventory. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I, want, I need to find out what that golden leaf does off screen. And actually, you know what? It's cures poison, right? What happens if I, if I use this? Ha! It does poison me! I was right. Okay, let's just cure it with this. Alright. If it says I have to do this again, I'll be steamed. Heh. What's up, heroes? I should come clean. I don't really work for the ancients. Don't get me wrong, they did create me, but I work for my own cursed powers. Anyway, the name is Shadu. I've been testing you to study you, and now... Your clones are complete. Now is when I beat you and take your place as heroes! Hey, okay. It's... It's Black Luigi. And I say Black Luigi because of Black Goku. And this is pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, yeah. He's Black Goku. Oh, heroes, blessed souls. I must destroy you with all of the power of Shadow. Oh, the battle's starting now. Okay. Well, I'll stick with Bowser. Because 28 damage... You can't use items? Only I can use items. I got way too upset about that. No. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm around top of him. Hey, buddy, I can beat that strategy. Haha! -ha! I have the power of carry. You never thought of that. Haha. -ha. 
Also, I can cancel that animation with fire. The, uh, the trick animation? That's really nice. Also, I do not have... I do not have, uh, a revival thing. <laughs> no, I, I can't use the catch card here. I thought about it, though. Okay, use fire again. Jump on you. And... Oh, he jumped again. He knows how to counter the jump! What is that? Oh, it's that attack. I remember that. Okay, he switched over to Peach. How are you planning to attack me with Peach? Oh, I see. Wow, okay, that's kind of good. That's a good strategy right there. Okay, she's gonna jump. Wow, that's... She's smart. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I know. That doesn't work. Just avoid her. Oh, that was the D-pad being dumb. Okay, she's going to do that. Go under her. Use fire. Nice. Good, good hit, good hit. Hit her again. It's all about catching, punishing her jump. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Use an item. Use an item. Emergency ration. 50 HP. This battle now does not seem close at all. Wait. I got her. There's Mario. Oh, I, I, this was a good, I should have matched them with, with my characters. Oh, he has the, the hammer. He knows how to use, oh, that deals 20 damage. That deals 20 damage. Uh, this. Okay. I didn't get the memo that he can deal 20 damage with one hit. And Courage Shell. Got it. Okay, I believe that was perfect. And also, <laughs> get wrecked by my Volt Shroom. Press the flashing button. I'm just, I'm bringing out all the stops because this is essentially a super boss. And so I want to, no, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I want to uh, hit it with my hardest. Yeah. Ha! Get wrecked. And fall on him again. Got him. I was so very close uh, to defeating uh, the heroes uh, with the power of uh, the pixels. I almost got the revenge on the ancients. Uh. Wah! Did I look worried? Shadow, boohoo, whatever. What a complete waste of time. I have to. S what? What? Is this? What is this? Oh! We get cards. I have to say, I'm a slightly dis disappointed. In that fight, I thought it should last longer. But, I mean, I guess I was using Bowser, so that makes sense. Now I'm getting all these cool cards. Am I going to get anything, you know, usable? I hope so. It's kind of disappointing if this is all I get. I was hoping the reward would be, you know, cool. <laughs> That's all I get? Okay. I mean... I did it. I, I completed the ultimate challenge, but I'm slightly disappointed. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just going to use this now so I don't have to pay five coins to sleep. Um, wow. We, we did it. Cool. Very nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Wow, that's... I'm slightly disappointed, actually. I mean, I, I had spoiled myself. I knew that we weren't getting a pixel there or another party member or what have you, but we should have gotten something. I don't know what. Maybe... I would have been happy. Okay, okay. This is what we should have gotten. I would have been totally happy if we got an item for, for this that we could wear that turned us black, like the, the shadow enemy. That would have been fine for me. I probably would have used that with the Floro Sprout. That seems very satisfactory, but we got cards, which I've, I haven't showed this before, or shown, shown this, yeah, I haven't shown this before, uh, where is it, it's cards, but here are our cards, and if you, you can see how many there are, and I haven't been trying to get 100%, but there are a lot, and I don't even know the reward for getting all of these, but it, it's probably not worth it. I'm still scrolling down. There are 256. There's that number again. So, like, the cards are kind of meaningless. We could have gotten a recipe, I would have been happy. We could have gotten anything. We could have gotten an item that made us invincible. I would have been probably fine with that. 
So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, though it was still fun, and it, it time flew when I was playing songs and singing them, so, I mean, it, that's, this episode doesn't seem and feel that long. And also with this inventory, I didn't feel stressed, so, I mean, there's that. I just wish we had gotten a better reward. So, that is going to be it for this episode. Next time, we are actually going to be going back to de dealing with the story. Uh, if you'll remember, we were given a p kind of point of no return uh, on the Tower of Flopside, where there is a door that leads to Count Black's fortress. Next time, we're going to be going through that door, starting the end game. So, if you skipped all these episodes because they were, they were Pit of 100 Trial stuff, then uh, don't skip next episode because that will be crucial to the story. So, I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays, Saturdays are periodically ABOs, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and if you enjoyed this episode, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you, that you would like it. I, uh, let's see. I'll, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Super Paper Mario, where I will shore up my inventory once more and find out what this golden leaf does. See you guys then!